All right, we're back. All right, I got my breather washers. So these are the washers that are supposed to be on top of the breather valve, which is this piece. Goes in there. Tommy mark. Goes about right there. So 120 to 110 is the stock numbers. So there's the washer there, is what it looks like. Genuine Harley ones in there. There's a genuine SNS one. So all kinds of different people and parts here. So these are all the pieces that go on there. So we're gonna go with the cheaper one here. Let's see if this works. We don't know what size we need yet until we put the motor together. We have to start with something. Okay, so there is our washer. Goes right there in the cam. Remember we had this mark on the surface? You put your washer on it, see how the washer sticks up higher than the titty here on the gear. So that means there's no way that mark would have been on the cover if this washer was on there. There's no way. So they lost it. Okay, we'll try this one out here, see what it is. We're also going to check the inplay of the cam. Okay, this has a couple different ways this can go on, but it only fits one way. So if you look how the case is made, you got two titties here, anti-rotation. Goes like that. See how it doesn't rotate? If you notice, the case has a cut right here. So the lifter block come down. See how the washer's cut? So right now it's pointing in the wrong direction. So if you put it on the correct direction, like that, it matches the case. Now what happens is, is the lifter comes down and this part of the lifter here will hit on that washer or hit the case. Now it worked. It'll be tight. So put in like that. In later bikes now they just have a solid washer, no titties, big diameter, and it works too. That's what they use now. Okay, so this is our cam. So we got our timing mark is here. This mark is down here right now. It needs to be right there, but who's going to hold that while I'm holding the camera? So you can't do two things at once. So and there's also no washer on this. That'd be this big piece here. Now that's going to fall off. See when you go like this. Yeah, except on this time it doesn't. Of course, until they get near the case, it'll fall off. Okay. See that's a tooth off there, and I'm off like five teeth here. So that's bad. Here we can get that one good, but we're still off on this one, see. So we need to move this over somehow. That means it takes two hands. Ooh, two hands. Imagine that. So we pull it up a little bit, rotate, crank back around, drop in the hole. See, it lines up now. Amazing. Okay, then we take our gasket, put it on there. We got our washer in here. Yeah, I didn't forget the washer. Very important. Don't forget that washer. We got our cam cover. Now we don't know what kind of hardware this takes. We don't I haven't taken it off yet this week. So we flip it over and we look at the hardware requirements. It appears that we have a lot of the short bolts. Looks like they're all about the same height, it's pretty close. So it looks like they're all for one, one for all type thing. So we have a lot of this length here, a little on the short side. And we have these ones here. Ooh, that looks better. About a good five eighths, almost three quarters of an inch sticking up. I like that one. Okay, this one's clean, so that one probably came out of this hole right here. It's inside the motor, see?
problem is we don't have enough. So it could be short one bolt. And this is the clean one here, goes there. Alright, so my guess is one bolt's missing. Well, these are a little bit on the long side here. This looks like a little shallower than these ones over here. The bolts are sticking out further. Yeah. 700 thousandths. Versus 600 thou. Yeah. So that one's just under 600. That one's just under 700. So these are 100 thou longer. So that means these don't go there. So these two are probably supposed to be a little bit different length. But this sure looks like the bolt that goes in here. Two, four, six, eight. We got this chrome bolt, we don't know what it is. Too short. Those are too short also. So I'm going to go, these are long ones are supposed to be in there. So we're missing one. They probably took one out here that held this on and never decided I didn't need it. That happens a lot. nice and easy. So this here holds this on. A little clip right here. So my guess is they took that out to get the wire out and they never gave me the bolt back. Would be my guess. But I'll have to go find the bolt because we can't get in the motor with the missing parts because then it'll be my fault and there's no parts. You just light torque, crank still rotates, I mean it's not tight. Okay. Everything rotates like it's supposed to, which is good. So now we check our end plate and our cam. Here's them enough. It goes click click. So you push with your thumb here, finger over here, back and forth. It appears to be good. Okay, this one over here, the breather. Rotate and take it to where the screen is. Right there. You can use your finger like I am. We can take the long screwdriver and come through here like this, like that. Wedge in those holes down there. Just go back and forth. Okay, we appear to have clearance. That's good. Not too much, just right. Okay, so the standard washer does fit. Imagine that. Okay, and this all here looks okay too. Okay, next thing you take the backlash and check them on your teeth. I'm taking my finger up and down like that, so we're getting the backlash between the cam gear way down there and the cam gear up here. Hear it? Is that that clicking noise I keep hearing? Yeah, that might be that clicking noise you hear. Okay, you turn the motor over and check in a different spot. Nice, nice rust spot on your cam there is not good either. It's going to be consistent. We're already in this area. Go over here and check. Ok, 
too. So it seems to have backlash all the way around everywhere. That might make noise, it might not. You never know. I've had ones that felt loose and they would whine like crazy from being too tight. Anyway, it's, it's got some noise potential in there maybe. But it looks good. Alright, so that's all pretty good there. So what we need to do now is go find a missing Allen bolt. So either I lost it or he lost it. Either way I gotta come up with one to put in the hole. Can't put it together without all the parts. Well I could, but the customer won't have it. Won't be able to find it. It'd be all my fault, so. We'll go ahead and put one in there now. So we know that the bolt length we need. We need one of these. That length. So I'm going to go see what I can find. We'll be back. Alright, we're back. So, one got another bolt. The one I came up with. There's an original one. Pretty close. Why don't throw away old hardware from Harley's? You never know when you need a bolt. Okay. So this is all ready to go together. So pull these parts back out. I gotta lubricate everything. With oil. Breather valve here. Put up in the case to go with it. There we go. I'm going to keep from losing this washer. Put the assembly all right there. Works fine. Amazing how that works. Okay. For the camshaft, a little bit of oil. Take your washer like that, and that'll hold the washer on there. Now pre lube everything, get every lobe. You want to lubricate the teeth. It's pre lubed. All lubed up. Poker in the hole. Now we got to rotate the crank around and line everything all up. There you go. So there's your two dots. See how it lines up there. That one lines up there. He's got a blue gear on it. He's got an SNS cam with no, no, no color code on it. Alright, there you go. So, gotta make sure you don't forget to put this in. Goes right there. And then we're gonna go ahead and put the gasket sealer on here. Wipe off the oil that was on there. And we can button this thing up. Maybe put a little bit of lubricant on the shafts too for the hell of it. They probably deserve a little bit. There's supposed to be an oil pump restrictor in the main shaft. Make sure that's in there. It's in there. You can see it. There's your restrictor down there. See the little brass thing down and inside there? That's a restrictor. Yeah, 60 thou and 332nd, 90 thou. So 
So most of the time they're 90s. I don't know what that one is. That looks like it might be a 60. And the reason you restrict that down is because the crank is a hog. It sucks every oil that motor oil pump will make if you let it. So if you restrict it, it can't suck more than that hole. When those rods are going around really high RPMs, like a century four, it shoves, sucks all the oil right through the motor. So as the oil goes out, it sucks behind it with under vacuum and it'll pull oil right out of the pump. And it'll suck all that oil up and nothing will go to your top end. It's a big problem on old motors like pinheads. When you put end oilers on them, they don't work. Okay, so now we're going to take this. I'm going to goop it up. A gasket sealer this time. If you don't want to use gaskets here, you don't have to. Some people don't. I don't feel like taking the motor apart for a leak, so I use it. Theoretically, you don't need it. Racing, I'll usually uh, goop up one side of the gasket and then I will grease the other side or I'll put assembly lube on it. That way I can take my motor part at the races and not lose the gasket because I don't bring gaskets with me. But I also don't care if it leaks. So. If you have a little bit of seepage on the motor, I don't care. Street riders kind of care. Alright, after that's all in there, just slip this on down in there like this. Okay, line up the cam bushing just right. Make sure that didn't fall out. Taking way too long to line it up. Second time went on a lot quicker, see. Okay, so where's my screws at? Screws. Side one, top one, bottom one, bottom one, Eww, nasty looking one, that over there, let's see here, there might be something wrong with that one, that's a bad screw. When I see vice grip marks on the outside, I know there's something wrong with it. That's one of his. That was the one I didn't tighten up before. The Allen doesn't want to go into it, see. I think it's bad. Definitely not a good screw. Mm, it tightens down though. It don't have to look good, it just has to work. Now 
know, if they put it on the bottom and they get to it easily with a pair of vice grips, like they did before. Now, if I was rebuilding this motor, I'd probably recommend some new hardware, but this is not a rebuild. And it'll work. They want to replace it, I don't know which one it is in the video. It torqued. Make sure the motor turns over. It does nice and freely. The rods come up on their own like that. It's good. Doesn't stick. If you got a tight crank, the rods don't come up like that. That's bad. So that's good. Nice and free like it's supposed to be. So got in play in it. Alright, so we can live with that. That'll be good. Now, this thing here takes this stupid cover here. It goes on there like that. It's got a gasket that goes in there. and These stupid little clip things here to hold it down. SNS was cheap back in the day. They didn't want to chrome anything, so they came up with this stupid way of doing stuff. Yeah, nice. So the early ones had a bunch of screws on the outside, it actually looked better. The new one just got a rubber. And it just holds on those two little chicken crap little brackets there. And this desk is too big to go in here. Nice. So that means you got to hold it in with grease. It's one of the tricks you use. Then you put the cover on like that. You have to have all the ignition in here to do all this stuff, so I don't think I have the ignition laying around here, but maybe it's better than if all this crap, I don't know. Maybe we'll deal with this later. I'm not gonna deal with it now. See, I have the ignition pickup here, right here. That goes under the cam, but I don't have the actual ignition. At least not that I see over there. That's this washer here and this one here. Make sure you're in the groove. A little bit of torque, but not too much. All right, it works. The next thing I do is our lifter blocks. It'll be these two things. All right, we'll get a couple tools. I'll be right back.